Well, hello, it's Wednesday, so it must be time for Woolly Hats Wednesday Woods. And you join me here in a very autumnal Essex uh, in Boxted near Colchester, where I'm visiting some friends. So, um, uh, very, as I said, very autumnal, a bit misty, uh, but not, not too cold at the moment, but definitely November and near the beginning of December. So, what have I been up to? Well, on su Sunday, I had a very good workshop with Bodyworks Pilates, um, Pilates and Yoga Retreat in London. No, we had two hours of knitting. Some people were beginners and some people knew a bit. But what we did, we produced hats like this. And we had great fun. Yeah. So, um, yes, it was a really good good morning, a good couple of hours. Um, this is using chunk, super chunky wool. So it worked up really, really quick. And we did pom-poms as well. So a uh, fantastic session. Everybody worked really hard. And I think we all had fun. So that was great. So that was Sunday. Um, <clears throat> after that, um, I've been travelling. So I've been to p visit people in Nottinghamshire and now I'm here in Essex. So when you travel, you do have to bring some knitting and crochet projects. So it's mainly knitting this time. So um, here we are with the infamous sock. So I'm now, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, shaping the gusset, which as you know, is not one of my favorite terms, but uh, it has to be what it is. Anyway, so there we are, shaping the gusset. And there's two little um, stitch markers, which was given to me last year, or as a set from Katie for my birthday. So thank you, Katie, for helping me knit my sock. The wool, by the way, is um, the, the variegated wool is from uh, You and Ply, who are based in Shropshire. They have a shops in Oswald Street and Shrewsbury. And this is their leg end sock yarn. And it's 100% blue faced Leicester yarn. And it's very nice. I've knitted another pair from Mr. W. Uh, and uh, they're very nice, very hard wearing. So you might remember the reason these are infamous is that um, I have knitted the other sock to this pair but I can't find them. So in the next few days when I get home, I'm gonna to have to have a considerable sort out and see where it is, because it's somewhere at home. But where, I do not know. Anyway, so there we are, nice sock. Oh, the um, green is, uh, blue face, is a blue face Leicester mix from uh, West Yorkshire Spinners. So that's uh, keeping the blue face Leicester in there. So the other thing I've bought, which uh, I haven't done anything with because I've been so busy talking and uh, here we are, Fair Isle. And you, you know with Fair Isle, you do need to pay attention. Um, so I've been too busy chit-chatting away to do this. But um, perhaps today, we're going to go for a walk today. So perhaps after the walk and a bit of a shower and a cup of tea, can perhaps do some nice considered knitting. So there we are. I think it's coming on really, really nicely. So this is the second half of the front. It's because it's going to be quite baggy. Um, so um, I've got to the stage where I'm reducing for the, the V for the the um, neck so um, very nice stuff so what I'm on at the moment this is um, uh, the turquoise is from a company called Coastal um, Crochet no sorry, that's wrong Coastal Colours and they're based in Fleetwood and they often go to places like the pop-up wool show in Ells, um, Port Sunlight um, and they've been to a few of the ones in the in the northwest so you'll see them there so they've got a really nice range of colours. So this is a, a, a wool mix. I think it's blue face Leicester as well. And then this one is from, uh, bought this in a shop in Ingleton. And it's a company called Pigment and Ply. And I just thought the colours are all very nice. And they do go very well with those. So there you go. So that's that. So, um, as you see, I'm wearing a nice woolly pulley. Because it's woolly pulley weather. And this, uh, again, Fair Isle technique or stranded knitting. This is um, my Icelandic jumper. Well, actually, it's Mr. W's Icelandic jumper, but he never got to wear it because I liked it so much. So, bought the wool in Iceland set many years ago when we had a fantastic walking holiday there. And um, it's brilliant. You go to their supermarkets and they have aisles of wool. It's really exciting. So, uh, this, the wool I bought for this was in Netto, their big supermarket in a town on the east side of um, New Zealand. Oh, New Zealand? Iceland. Um, so it's too early in the morning for this. So, um, yes, yeah, so this is, and I bought the pattern in Akareri, which is on the north side where they see lots of whales, but we didn't. But, um, and I uh, knitted it, and it's knitted on circular needles, of course, and um, from the bottom up, with it, and then you so do the arms, and then you put them all together and create the yoke at the top. So it's a nice jumper to wear because it's uh, not too baggy, so it goes under a coat if you're going to go for a walk, but it's nice and snuggly and just right for an autumn day like today. Anyway, 
Um, what else am I up to? Oh, so I've got a final class next week and we're going to be doing, uh, for Next Steps in Crochet, and we're going to be doing Christmas decorations. So when I get back to home in, later in the week, I should be dusting out my de Christmas decorations patterns and bringing those along so we hopefully can have a bit of fun and perhaps got some mince pie or two. Who knows? Anyway, that's all from me today from lovely autumnal Essex. I shall see you next week. Bye for now.